Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today I will be reviewing my own merchandise. I obviously don't want to sell you guys anything that I wouldn't spend my hard earned money on. So I bought a bunch of the stuff that I sell on my website and we're going to find out is it good? Does it suck? Should you buy it? So let's hop into the first item. All right, friends, first thing I have for you today is the Yay Race Car Can Koozie. You can grab the koozie in either white or radical. It has the Yay Race Car very fast design on the front side and on the back side, it has just the logo. These aren't like the cheap foam ones. These have that nice neoprene with the stitching. Now the purple one, it does have a white line on the sides and the bottom because of print limitations, but I still think it looks pretty cool. These are $7 each on the website, and it took five days from me ordering them to them showing up. So if you're looking for something that isn't gonna take a long time, these did come pretty quick. As with everything else in this video, it is print on demand, so they don't have these stocked. They actually make them after you order them. I'm really happy with these. I would say grab one. The next item I have to show today is a desk mat. I believe the desk mats are 31 inches wide. I'll put on screen the measurements because I don't have a measuring tape in front of me right now, but I think they're pretty sweet. They have like the nice non-skid backing stitched around the edges. I think they're pretty cool. You will see on the website, the design looks slightly different than this. After I got it, I realized there's a ton of grass at the bottom. So the design has just moved down a little bit. So, you know, if you throw your keyboard on it, it's just gonna cover up the whole car as it is. But I moved it around. I think the new one looks a little better than this. This was $22 and it takes six days to show up. Again, I think it's pretty cool. I'd say go grab one. I'm trying to hold this up like a little closer to the camera so you can see the details. Like it printed really good. I am quite happy with how the design came out and I hope you guys like it too if you grab one. The next item I have is a can glass. Now this one was $20, which I was pretty skeptical about at first, but when it arrived, honestly, I was not super stoked on it. I'll show you guys a little closer up in a second, but I, it's the same exact design as on the koozie, but the koozie, you can like see the difference between the purple and the black, whereas this, it all just kind of blends together. Here it is up close. Like you literally can't tell the difference between the purple and the black. It just kind of all runs together. Now I did reach out to the supplier just to see what was going on, if this was a print error or if it was just the way I designed it, it came out like this. They responded and said they're looking into it, but unfortunately I don't have a resolution just yet. Because I wasn't super stoked on this product, I've hidden it from the website. If you decide you really want one, I can send you the link to get this. I also put the same design on a pint glass, but I'm, I'm not happy with it like this, and I assume you guys wouldn't either, so. Personally, I wouldn't buy this again. I wouldn't really advise you guys to buy it, but like I said, if you really want one, send me a message. I can send you the link to grab one. But yeah, this is the first product that I'm giving it the thumbs down. The next item on the list is our race team t-shirt. You've got the race car stuff logo nice and in the middle. You've got racecargives.org. If you've seen like this hat, I've had that logo on some stuff. We're actually in the process of getting a nonprofit set up. So it'll probably be next year before we do any events or fundraisers or anything like that. But keep an eye out for that because that is something we have in the works. But yeah, the t-shirt, this one is a guild and soft style. So if you remember the eat sleep drift shirts that I've made in the past, it's the same exact shirt. These are heat pressed, I believe, not screen printed. So I was a little worried on how well they'd hold up through the wash. Make sure you flip it inside out when you wash it. And if you don't want shrinkage, I suggest just air drying it the first couple times. But this has been through the wash already. And as you can see, the print looks fine. I'm happy with it. These shirts are $20 each. And if you want a double X 
or higher. I think they're another $2 or more when you go up sizes, but I like the shirt. I'd say go grab one. Also, I forgot to say, this one is navy. They also come in black and a heather gray. So you have those options. Also, I don't know if you can see in the corner, our cat is biting me because I'm not petting her enough. Uh, yep. <laughs> the next item is the Eat Sleep Drift Gildan Hoodie. Now these ones are available in, I believe, like seven different colors. If you go on the website, you'll be able to see there's a list with pictures of every different color. These ones start at 35. I got a double X, which was 37, but the Eat Sleep Drift design, I forgot to say in the last one too, for the t-shirt, you can get either the Eat Sleep Drift design or the race team design. Same with these Gildan hoodies. With any of the colorways, you can get either the race team design or the Eat Sleep Drift design. Also, also, there is a crew neck version and like a long sleeve t-shirt version. So you have quite a few options if you're looking to grab some apparel, but the Eat Sleep Drift design as well as the race team tee design are available in a bunch of different ways. I'm sure you've also noticed the hoodie that I'm wearing. This is the premium hoodie. So the Gildan hoodies are 35. These premium hoodies start at 40. So like this one was 42 for the double X. These are a good bit heavier. I think they're a lot softer as well. These don't come in as many colorways, but between this one and the other one, this is definitely more comfortable. I'm definitely a big fan of this one. There was one issue with this though, and I will show you real quick. I hope it shows up well. There was a print error on the race car gives logo. So after I received this and I noticed the issue that was on it, I reached out to the supplier. Within 24 hours, I got an email back through the customer service support. So as much as it sucks that I got a product that had an error, had a misprint, on the bright side, at least you guys get my firsthand knowledge of they will respond quickly and they will fix the problem. So you don't have to worry if you order some merchandise from the website, they will take care of you if they have an issue. Hush. Now, both the shirt and the hoodies took 10 days to arrive. So definitely a little longer than some of the other products, but on the bright side, still came pretty quick. And like I said before, they're fixing the problem that we had in printing. So will you, I am trying to tell people to buy my stuff so I can buy you more toys and more treats. Can you cooperate please? We're almost done. I promise we're almost done. Now this last item is honestly the one I was most excited for. I knew this one was gonna take the longest, so I actually ordered this before I ordered anything else. But here is the Drive Fast Be Nice tie-dye embroidered t-shirt. So you can see on the left chest, you have a nice embroidery piece on this really cool tie-dye shirt. Obviously the tie-dye shirts are different, so each one will be a little different than the next. Now, these are advertised as oversized t-shirts. I normally wear a 2X shirt. I ordered this in the extra large, and I will say it is definitely an oversized shirt. It does fit pretty similar to a 2X. They do have, for all these products, size charts on the website. So if you're unsure of what size you're looking at, you can definitely find out before you place an order. Now, even with this being embroidered on demand, it only took 11 days for me ordering it to this showing up, which honestly I was pretty surprised on. And these shirts start at just $30. Now I've ordered plenty of embroidered stuff before. I'm sure you guys have seen in some of my videos, I have a long sleeve polo with my race course stuff logo on it. That took me, I think two weeks to get made. Plus I had to buy the polo. Plus I had to pay $60 to get the logo digitized. Plus it was $20 for the embroidery. So 30 bucks for that, not too bad. Obviously it's more expensive than a regular t-shirt, but being embroidered and a tie-dye shirt, it comes with the territory. But honestly, I'm super stoked on those. And that's something I'm definitely gonna just wear in public. Like 
as just a t-shirt that's gonna go in my rotation of clothes I wear normally. These koozies I'm also gonna use like all the time because they're pretty sweet. So yeah, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was informative and I just, Honestly, I don't wanna sell you guys stuff that I wouldn't use myself. I really care about the trust between me and you guys. I'm not going to tell you to go buy something that I think is crap. I'm not going to accept sponsorship from companies just to make some money if I think it's a garbage sponsorship. In one of my recent videos, I did post an affiliate link to buy W Energy. I tried the W Energy, I bought it myself, and then after I decided I liked it, then I decided I would tell you guys about it. Because if I thought it was crap, I'm not gonna push it on you guys. I don't think that's right, and I hope you guys appreciate that. Now, down below, the YouTube shelf should have a lot of these products right there where you can click on, it'll send you to the website and you can buy it. If you wanna become a channel member, you'll get 15% off of everything from the website. Plus there's a ton of other perks. I have some really good videos coming out soon that we have a longer uncensored version that will be available only for channel members. So if that's something that you might be interested in, become a member and you'll get a bunch of cool perks. And as always, I just wanna say thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment if you've got anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya. Don't yell.